Are you on the hunt for the best ham radio repeaters for 2024? Look no further. In this video, I'm breaking down the top three choices, delving into their features, pros, and cons to help you make an informed decision. From a budget-friendly option to premium picks, I've got you covered. Price information and all repeaters mentioned in the video are available in the description. Let's dive right in and find the perfect repeater for your needs. Number 3. Redivis RT97 Best Budget Ham Radio Repeater Redivis RT97 is slightly different from your average radio repeater, and that's a good thing because this repeater can carve out a niche for itself and do it on a budget. It is a customizable and portable full duplex repeater. The portable part is the one that sets this apart from other repeaters, since it is easy to carry along and set up when you're outdoors. The RT97 draws power from 12 to 24 volts, so it can be hooked up to a car or a battery pack for increased range when you're outdoors. In a way, this puts the RT97 in competition with conventional transceivers with crossband repeat. For example, you could set up a mobile radio on crossband repeat, and since many mobile radios can have power output as high as 50 watts, they could easily outdo the RT97 as a repeater, which can only offer 10 watts as output power. However, it's not always desirable to run a mobile radio at full power for extended periods of time, and it might be desirable to use a true repeater rather than crossband repeat, so the Redivis RT97 gets its moment to shine. It can work on VHF or UHF with customizable frequency, offsets, and chargers. Those who desire a more stable setup with higher power output might consider adding a more capable antenna and amplifier to go with this repeater. Even without going into all that expensive setup, the low cost of the RT97 can make it a better choice than conventional and cheap simplex repeaters like Surecom SR112. While the full duplex RT97 is more expensive than the simplex repeater, it doesn't have the same issues with message recording and truncating that simplex repeaters struggle with. As for the design, the Redivis RT97 is a small box that's relatively lightweight at 3.5 pounds or 1.6 kilos. There's a small display that shows channel or frequency information, and then there's room for power and antenna connectors. It's fairly simple. It's worth mentioning that the RT97 is a versatile design that goes beyond its predecessor, the Redivis RT97S. The RT97 has a better design, a more capable motherboard, and better versatility. Redivis sells this repeater in several variants designed to suit the user's needs. The RT97 is available as a GMRS repeater, DMR repeater, or the conventional analog repeater discussed here. Overall, the Redivis RT97 is a very capable repeater with a full duplexer, customizable frequency, and an attractive price tag. It lacks a few features when compared to the conventional repeaters, but the RT97 more than makes up for that with its portability and pricing. To sum up what I like is the attractive pricing. It's easy to use. It's portable and lightweight. Customizable frequencies, VHF, UHF, offset. It can work with 12 to 24 volt input, and it has multiple power input options. On the downside, it struggles maintaining power output, and the user manual is not very helpful. Number 2. Yesu DR2X LAN Best Premium Ham Radio Repeater Yesu DR2X LAN is my pick for premium repeaters thanks to its impressive performance, connectivity options, and the ability to simply replace an existing repeater where relevant without needing massive changes in the setup. Sized to fit the standard 19-inch rack mount, this repeater is easy to handle and very convenient to work with. There is a slight difference between the base model Yesu DR2X and the DR2X LAN. As the naming implies, it's the presence of a LAN card on the DR2X LAN that makes all the difference. Though it's more expensive, I am partial towards the LAN model, simply because it opens up more options and features. Either way, both these variants are way ahead of the previous model, Yesu DR1. Although the DR1 offered a remarkable price advantage and very similar features as the DR2X, it struggled with providing consistent performance and had several complaints from users. There are no such issues with the DR2X LAN, and indeed it has some very impressive performance to show. 
This repeater can work on VHF or UHF, but it is cross-band compatible and offers dual receive, dual transmit capabilities. While it works rather well with conventional analog modes, the repeater can also work with digital modes and accept Yesu's C4FM transmissions. Interestingly, Brandmeister offers support for directly connected IMRS repeaters like the Yesu DR2X LAN, allowing communication between DMR talking groups and radios using system fusion. Unlike Wires X, this system doesn't need additional hardware for the repeater, so communication is easier and with less overhead. To make things easier, the repeater includes an automatic mode select feature that distinguishes between analog and digital signals and then retransmits them suitably. The maximum power output available is 50 watt, though lower TX output is available at 20 watt and 5 watt. The built-in speaker for the unit is 4 watt and offers decently clear and loud audio. Controls for the Yesu DR2X are handled through a 3.5-inch touchscreen panel, though it's small. The display is easy to work with and offers convenient access to settings and options on the repeater. Overall, Yesu DR2X LAN is a well-placed and feature-rich repeater with good signal power ability to handle analog and digital communication, multi-site repeater link function, and group monitoring using DGID and DPID. It doesn't work with D-Star, but works rather well with C4FM and can accept DMR as well. To sum up what I like is the good feature set. It can work with C4FM and DMR. It's easy to use, almost plug and play, reliable TX power output at 50 watt, 20 watt, 5 watt, it offers IMRS and good audio and signal quality. On the downside, IMRS can be complicated to set up, and it's expensive. Number 1. Bridgecom BCR-4OU Our top choice. Known for its simplicity of use and widely regarded as reliable, the Bridgecom BCR-4OU repeater is my top choice for this category. This repeater works on the UHF band, 70 centimeter or 400 to 470 megahertz, and has a maximum output power of 40 watts. It works great for conventional ham radio use, but if you're so inclined, you can use this as a GMRS repeater as well. Of course, that would require some settings, but since GMRS is in the UHF band, it shouldn't be too much trouble to use it on GMRS. Bridgecom Systems offers the first programming of the repeater for free upon purchase. Though, if you want to program the system on your own, the required software must be purchased separately. The software is available for Windows only. Thanks to the initial programming by Bridgecom, the repeater generally shows up ready for action as it reaches the user. In that sense, it is practically a plug-and-play system, although that changes if you want to program it yourself. Versatile as this repeater is, it's also very reliable, and it takes steps to ensure things stay that way. The unit includes a built-in 11.2 amp power supply and dual cooling fans. This ensures proper operation of the repeater and the fans work to keep it cool even when operating at full TX power for long times. On the downside, the fans can get noisy and users might occasionally consider aftermarket fans for better performance and lower noise. Although to be fair, things rarely come to this. There's a small display at the front of the repeater with a few buttons and knobs. Though there are only a few buttons, operating the unit remains relatively easy. Most changes and settings can be handled directly through the tiny display and the knob. Other notable features include a 25-pin accessory connector, adjustable squelch, clear front panel speaker, possible use as a base station, over-the-air programming and maintenance via DTMF, and overall reliable performance. The programming software has to be purchased separately and can be a bit temperamental, but it gets the job done and handles things rather well. Overall, this is a well-made and reliable repeater that's easy to handle and use. It works rather well on the conventional 70 centimeter UHF band for ham radios. If desired, the BCR-40U is also amongst the best choices for GMRS repeaters. To sum up what I like is the good design and construction quality. It includes built-in fans and power supply. It's a UHF repeater, but can also work as GMRS repeater. Good TX power output, 40 watt max, and the convenient onboard controls. On the downside, programming software must be purchased separately.